Welcome back to our IB Chemistry video series. This is the first and final video in higher level IB Chemistry Topic 17, Equilibrium, where we will be looking at calculations involving Kc and Gibbs free energy. As covered in our IB Chemistry Topic 7 video series, the equilibrium constant is used to express the position of equilibrium for a reversible reaction by relating the concentration of products to reactants. During this introduction, we mentioned that higher level students must calculate the value of Kc using provided values. This usually takes two different forms in your exam, one easier and one trickier. Let's talk through an example of each. The easier form is where you are asked to calculate Kc using provided molar quantities. For example, 7 mol H2 and 4 mol Br2 react together in a 10 decimeters cubed container at 1300 Kelvin and reach equilibrium. Here, 1.82 mole Br2 are present. Calculate the value of Kc. Start by writing a balanced equation for the reaction and write the titles initial, change, equilibrium and concentration down the left hand side. Now, fill in the initial molar quantities provided. So, 7, 4 and 0, since there were only reactants present at the start of this reaction. Now, fill in the equilibrium molar quantity provided, 1.82, and subtract this from its initial quantity to find the change in the number of moles, i.e. 2.18. Now, determine the change that would be experienced for each of the remaining species. To do this, multiply this change by their coefficients in the stoichiometric equation, just like you would during a moles question. So, H2 would experience the same change, whilst HBr would experience a change twice as great, i.e. 4.36. You can therefore now calculate the equilibrium molar quantity for every species. To calculate the concentration, use the formula concentration equals moles divided by volume. So, since the reaction container was 10 decimeters cubed, we divide each value by 10 to give the equilibrium concentrations of each species. Now we can write an expression for Kc and substitute in these values. Using the skills learnt during our IB Chemistry Topic 7 video series, our expression for Kc would be Kc equals HBr squared over H2Br2. So substitute in the equilibrium concentrations, then rearrange to find Kc, which is 0.48. So now we have talked you through the easiest format, let's look at the trickier variation. In these, you will be asked to calculate the equilibrium concentrations using provided molar quantities and a value of Kc. For example, 3 mol H2 and 3 mol CO2 react together at 1300 Kelvin in a 10 decimeter cubed container along with 1.5 mol H2O and 1.5 mol CO. These species reach equilibrium where Kc is 3.54. Calculate the equilibrium concentrations for all species at 1300 Kelvin. Again, start by writing a balanced equation and write initial, change, equilibrium and concentration down the left hand side. Now, fill in the initial molar quantities provided, so 3, 3, 1.5 and 1.5. Since we are not provided with an equilibrium molar quantity, we cannot calculate the change experience so we represent this using x. We can therefore express the change experienced for each species by multiplying x by their coefficients, just like the previous question format. So, H2 and CO2 would experience a change of minus x, whilst H2O and CO would experience a change of plus x. We can therefore express the equilibrium molar quantities for each species using this change. So 3 minus x, 3 minus x, 1.5 plus x and 1.5 plus x. To calculate the concentration, again we use the formula concentration equals moles divided by volume. The reaction container was again 10 decimeters cubed, so we divide each value by 10 to give expressions for the equilibrium concentrations of each species. Now that we have expressions for the equilibrium concentrations of all species, we can substitute these into an equation for Kc, which we are told is equal to 3.54. So, 
Our equation for Kc would be 3.54 equals H2O times CO over H2 times CO2. So, substituting in our expressions, we can create the following. This can be simplified to 3.54 equals 1.5 plus x over 10 squared divided by 3 minus x over 10 squared. From here, it is simply a matter of rearranging. We recommend first square rooting the whole equation to give the square root of 3.54, which equals 1.5 plus x over 10 divided by 3 minus x over 10. Then merge the fractions to give root 3.54 equals 1.5 plus x over 3 minus x. Now rearrange to find x, which is 1.438. Now that we have a value for x, the change in the molar quantity, we can substitute this back into our expressions to find the equilibrium concentrations of each species. So 3 minus x over 10, 3 minus x over 10, 1.5 plus x over 10, and 1.5 plus x over 10. These would give 0 0.156, 0 0.156, 0 0.294, and 0 0.294 moles per decimeter cubed. Hopefully you can now understand these tricky questions. Practice using our question pages to ensure you can feel confident and obtain all marks they're worth in the exam. To round out your knowledge of equilibrium at higher level, the syllabus re-explores Gibbs free energy and its relation to Kc. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.